is weird. This is the reverse side of the good side of the watercolor paper. And again, when I was doing the binding, I must have had quite a lot of cream on my hands. But uh, anyway, it's kind of funny. <laughs>
<laughs> I think my little birdie is adorable, if I do say so myself. Um, the one thing I was mindful of for this exercise is to keep the birds in the foreground, meaning the bird being the most important thing in the painting. I was afraid these flowers would take away too much from it, but because the base coat is the same color almost as the background or, you know, the land here, uh, I think it works. Maybe the white lines are a little bit too much, but... Um, I think we see the bird first. I'm, at least that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I see right now. The thing I wanted to practice again as the same thing as yesterday are my brush strokes and trying to get some fine doodling happening with the brush as opposed to a marker. And I love the process, by the way. It's so agreeable. One of uh, you commented that um, when she watches my video, um, she often falls asleep on it because it's so meditative <laughs> and she means it as a compliment and I took it as a compliment as well but she was also talking about um, she was wondering if I go into a meditative mode as well while I'm doing this and I wouldn't go as far as saying that I actually fall into meditation I'm the kind of person that has a hard time with that I'm I was never successful mind you I didn't try all that often but I usually like a lot of noise around me so um, but I can say that when I do these I do get into what I call my bubble I don't really forget the outside world but it, it brings me peace and joy at the same time so I feel that I'm very calm when I do these lines and the doodling and you know um, focusing on one small area at a time it, and it works for me some people like to paint big and do big bold brush strokes and you know we all have our thing right but I can tell you though which is funny um, I started listening to this uh, music station on my TV and it's called nature and <laughs> as I was painting this there was one about like there was um, kind of like a, a, a loop um, a music that played for 14 minutes I think and it was just birds singing and I was just happy birds really do make me happy I love to hear them sing um, so I mean he the music was not the inspiration for this page it just turned out that way it was uh, a coincidence, a happy one. Um, the bird, I wasn't sure how to do the bird. I don't draw birds all that often. I don't do a lot of animals, uh, by the way, but I will because it's one of the suggestions that one of you sent me. But I have sketched some birds last week. Uh, just to try out and see what kind of style I wanted but all this led me to do this tiny bird and I'm going to show you a close-up <clears throat> I loved doodling these flowers by the way these are so much fun uh, the exercise of being precise and uh, I just trace the outline, not the divisions of the leaves, well, the, the tail, but it's like a leaf to me. Um, so that was fun coming up with the exact, not the exact, but you know, a good width in between those sections. Um, so that was a lot of fun. The white here is a bit too much, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then these ones with the white ink. And then I decided to add a little bit of gold, whoops, a little bit of gold just to make the page more alive because I thought it was a little bit too, not stern, but, and not dark, a little bit too moody for my taste. <laughs> and, you know, I should have put a little bit of gold also walking it into the blue, but it was too late by that time I realized uh, that's what I had needed. Um, everything was painted so it doesn't matter so I made sure to repeat the gold line up top here which I think is just a little decoration that that says a lot and the dots the gold dots at the top so that's why that's how I address the um, the lack of not having done the gold here <laughs> I added it on top and I think it works and it was so much fun so much fun and here they are side by side 
This one is super soft. This one is in your face. I, I love them both equally, especially for the pleasure it brought me while I was doing them. <sighs> I love watercolor, guys. I really, really do. I think it's so versatile. Um, I don't know. It just brings me so much joy. And I know that it brings joy to a lot of you because you have been sharing uh, photos of your artwork and you guys are awesome. I mean, it's amazing the stuff you do and I'm amazed at seeing such, not progress, but a lot of you are saying that you're beginners, but your beginner level is way different than mine was. So I'm impressed, I'm pleased, uh, keep sending them. I get tons and I am not tired of looking at them at all. And so uh, keep going on that because it shows me that you're actually putting what I do into practice as well and that brings me a lot of joy so keep them coming thank you so much for watching thank you my awesome patrons for uh, what are your wonderful encouragements throughout the week so yeah so this weekend my priority will be to work on or catching up on my patreon rewards I'm way behind but uh, the one that gave me grief I think I spoke about this at the beginning of the week um is finally coming together and i'm like crossing my fingers that i don't mess up but um i'm liking what i'm doing so far so anyways this weekend is solely reserved for my patrons i just have one uh appointment but the rest is my studio i don't want to see anybody <laughs> i don't want to talk to anybody <laughs> and um i just want to be in my art studio and that's that. So, wishing you a very creative and beautiful weekend. Awesome subscribers. And thank you so much for watching. As usual, I will put the list of supplies in the description of this video. If you have any questions or comments or even suggestions, which I have also received a ton, thank you so much. Uh, leave them also in the comments section. And I will see you on Monday. Bye.